Hello, my materialistic minions. Bow shove suit. Today we have a little black speaker, Bluetooth speaker. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Although it looks chic, just like that. It is a heater. As you can see, it is on top of this toilet right here and it fits absolutely perfectly. You'll see that, oh, it's about oh, 12 inches right there and there's another nice amount of space. I would highly recommend if you are using this for your bathroom. I personally got it for our bathroom because our other heater was way too big and it was way too loud and it wasn't very safe. Uh, we have two little kids, two years old and four years old and if they were to tip it over, it would continue going. And so we're gonna actually show you how this works. So first of all, when you plug it in, um, you will notice a little rocker switch right back there. Right now it is on. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn it on with that right there. And that's how it sounds. Sweet, huh? And so now when you're in the shower and you hop out, there's this nice warm heater going. And the other little functions, in case you are wondering, there is the swing option, which means it's basically going to oscillate back and forth. Isn't that cute? It's remarkably quiet. And by the way, in case you're wondering, it took like two or three seconds to heat up, which is pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and stop that swing. And now we're going to look at, um, <laughs> there is a bit of a weird translation thing. Regular wind, you can, you can tell this is from China. Uh, but basically that means uh, there's no heat going and it's just going to be well regular like a regular fan if, if you want that for some really weird reason uh, Soft strong honestly. I'm just gonna keep it on whatever it is. You can kind of see the little heat heat little uh, right, right there we go wait wait, wait. Uh, Strong soft strong soft you can kind of barely see the little dim indicator right there But anyway, so as I was saying before um, if you were to tip this over, listen carefully, it stops. Well, the actual heater element actually turned off, but you will notice that it's still blowing. That's because whenever it turns off, the fan will continue to blow, even though the heating element is off in there, the fan continues to blow to actually get rid of the heat, to dissipate it. So, you know, oh, there it is, it's off. So as you just saw right there, it took about 20 seconds to actually turn off and turn it back on. Once again, uh, you can see a little light and when you turn it off, it's the fan is still going, but it will take about 20 seconds for the fan to turn off completely. Nice little safety mechanism there, which I appreciate. Also, the cord is going down behind kind of the toilet underneath all the way over there. It's about, oh, I'd say three or four feet in length. So I would recommend some kind of oh, long extension cord or something like that. So that's it, five out of five stars, highly recommended. I am very, very impressed. Yeah, no longer will we have this giant heater smashed above our toilet and uh, this nice little chic, very attractive looking little heater. Huh, I'm very pleased. Anyway, I hope that this small little demonstration is helpful in determining whether or not this little heater is the right guy for you. I'm gonna turn that off just to prevent little ones from coming up and playing uh, on that. And uh, oh, a nice little carrying thing right there. I didn't even notice that handle was there. Well, that's nice. And we're gonna turn it like so. Leave some space behind it, obviously, so that wind can get back there and all the air. Oh, awesome. My name is Bo Shabasu. I look forward to testing, demonstrating, and reviewing things for you, my materialistic minions here on Amazon.